Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every day at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. Well, it's time for another Peddler's Rides, and I think this episode I'm gonna call a trio of very special minis. Now, when I put my call out for you to send me videos of your cars, I knew I would get a range of cars and a range of different styles of videos from people who'd never shot a video before all the way up to YouTubers and people who do it all the time. And this one, the first video we're gonna look at today is someone who does it all the time. A friend of mine, Tom Shorrock, who runs a YouTube channel called Total Car Reviews. Now, Tom's still a relatively small channel, just over 10,000 subscribers. I'll put a card above to his channel right now for you to check him out. but. He does some amazing things with classic minis. And I just wanted to share his story with you because this film, this film's really good. That's all, Ped. I'm Tom Shorrock. I run a YouTube channel called Total Car Reviews. And uh, before we get into that, I think I fall part of the category of owning three cars, two of which are functional and one of which is in this current wreck of a state. So this car is a Austin Mini Clubman Estate. Now, as you can see, it's an absolute wreck. I bought it for £1,100 two years ago, and I thought it'd be done in 12 months, but obviously when I stripped it down, it came to a complete state of just like, wow, where do I go with this next? In a second, I will spin the car upside down. This car, in a nutshell, is going to have a VTEC B18 engine in the front of it, which should hopefully push around 160 horsepower in a car that weighs around 600 kilos. So this is the, the works that we've been carrying out recently. It's had a new full, full floor from front to back, and we've had to actually plate this piece of steel in here and weld it all together and fold it without any metal folders. Now, I've never done any of this, and uh, the whole reason I love cars is because I love getting my hands covered in oil, I love modifying them, and I love being able to build something from nothing and turn the key for the first time and get that excitement from when it actually starts up. One day, maybe Ped, you'll be able to uh, take this car out, screw its nuts off, and have a go of it on your YouTube channel. Now, car two follows the same suit, but it's a mint version of this. Now this car is my absolute pride and joy. This car is the first car that I ever restored and built myself. And as you guessed it, it's another Mini. This is the one that's functional. It doesn't come out in wet weather. It only comes out on dry sunny days. There's a bit of residue on it because it's been sat for so long. And this car, I absolutely love it with a passion. It's a car that I go out in, it turns heads. It's all custom built and personalised to how I actually wanted the car. We've gone with the tartan red and a black roof. Then we've gone with the Mark 1 moustache grille, which is the very famous face of where, if you look at all minis now, this grille is sort of incorporated into the new minis. If we pop the bonnet, I'll show you what's underneath and you can see the, the quality of this restoration. Every time I look into this engine bay, all I can see is the hours of work, the cleaning, the painting, the polishing, and everything that I've put into this car, my blood, sweat, and beers, as I'll call it, because there was a lot of beer drank whilst doing this, and uh, late nights, and I just absolutely love it to pieces. It's it's probably one of my favourite cars. I will never part with this car. It is, it is something that is mine, it's got my stamp on it. So, some of the performance specs of this car, you may be wondering, it has an absolutely impressive, staggering 54 horsepower. <laughs> now, obviously minis were 40 brake horsepower standard. This is 54 due to the fact we've got a bigger fuel jet in the single SU car. We've got a full three to one manifold stainless steel all the way back out. And it's basically just been tuned great by a company called Mini Sport up in Padium. To think the, the turd tech's gonna have three times that is kind of impressive. Let's have a look at the interior. Now this interior is actually custom to how I all wanted it, especially with the wooden wheel, the tan brown leather, the tan diamond stitching across the door with all the brushed stainless accessories. These air vents are actually out of a Mercedes A-Class, which I've modified to fit. Custom gear knob and my signature in it. Custom indicator stalks that are currently designed with a partner of mine that will be selling these soon. Obviously the signature transpires through the interior into the headrest. It is absolutely bliss and probably one of my favorite parts of this car. Now you're probably wondering, what does it sound like? Well, why don't we just find out? 
Now, obviously these cars require something called a choke. It's not automatic anymore like it is on new cars. So you can hear it blipping away. I'm just gonna push it in and you should notice the difference in the idle. You've seen my absolute pride and joy and you've heard it ped if you want to drive it hit me up because the keys are yours mate i didn't need to do any editing on that i just think that i think that what tom does is incredible and i cannot wait for lockdown to finish for us to hook up and do a film with those two cars uh, maybe the red one first but yes i hope you enjoyed that now next we are off to the beautiful sunny island of cyprus to a very cool guy, and I'm gonna to bound to get his name wrong, but Thanasis Zeniu, who is a bit of a mini fan. <laughs> I just loved this video. Thanasis, before you apologize for your English, mate, your English, there is nothing wrong with it at all, and we are gonna love your cars. Hello viewers, my name is Thanasis Zeniu, and I'm from lovely island of Cyprus. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry for my English. I tried to do my best to explain you and make you a tour around my cars. Hope you enjoy it. So here it's my daily driver. It's 2007 Mini Cooper S with the N14 engine in it. <laughs> I know somebody would laugh right now, but believe it or not, it was very, very trustful all those years. Nothing major breaks. Uh, the secret is uh, regular oil changes, servicing time. This is gonna last, believe me. So, uh, as I say, it's my daily driver, it's my do everything car. Uh, I'm carrying bicycle, I do some track days uh, with, with it. So let me show you what uh, are the upgrades and the modifications I do on it. Uh, I upgrade the suspension on it. I put some lovely Blistein suspension in setting lower than the original car some parts in the disc from MPC in front a sports cut uh, I tried to put a sound clip on to hear it and the sound system I'm a big big fan of music good music so it's got a 12 inch uh, subwoofer two amplifiers one for the speakers and one for the subwoofer itself. I upgrade the head unit to 7 inch Alpine uh, with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and all of those lovely things. And that's about it. And I saved the best for last. This is my Pride and Joy. It's a 1979 classic Mini Cooper. It's been fully restored. It's have that lovely color. It's a we call it surf blue. It's original uh, mint color. Uh, it's have some nice ultralight 12 inch alloys with a Yokohama rubber on it. I upgrade the front brakes to uh, four piston uh, calibers with the Vendel disc from MG Metro. Some Momo steering wheel action right there. Lovely leather seats. A red carpet. And I'm using that car as much as I can. On the good days, you know, the weekends uh, go around Cyprus. So, let's see the engine. That car uh, almost uh, 40 something years ago came with a 1998 CC one liter, let's say, engine in it. We upgraded it to a 1275. We upgraded the 1275 uh, with some uh, bigger uh, piston, and now it's uh, around a uh, 1310 CC uh, aluminium uh, radiator. We put the brake servo on it, then came originally with it. So that is my car uh, collection, let's say collection. <laughs> uh, 
uh, again i apologize for my english be kind to me in my comment section below uh, i hope you like my cars and i hope again uh, to everybody staying safe so thanks for watching again and see ya yeah there you go classic and modern minis can live in the same household and both be loved for different reasons but i must admit mate i love your classic mini now finally we're going to come back to the uk and we're heading off to a guy called andrew and again this is another story of a household with a modern mini and a classic mini stay tuned to the end of this one i've saved not the best till last because they've all been good but Certainly, it's an absolute corker. Welcome, petrol ped, to my two car garage. Not a very big collection. As soon as I win the lottery, I'll add to it. Right, well, this is my Mini Countryman Cooper SD. I love the colour, especially in this lovely day we're having. I've owned it for six years now it's not been a bad car i had no major issues with it basically when i bought this car i bought it for the color it's great big 19s interior haven't modded it kept it all original from pretty good car, seats, half leather, really comfy for long drives, drive up north about eight times a year, up and down the M6 with the cruise control, it's brilliant. Now, the wife calls this her car, we call it family car, her car. Shops, holidays, picking up the kids, all of that but this is mine 1978 mini clubman 1275 gt owned it for 15 years now done all the work myself as you can see a lovely shade of yellow only problem with that is the flies love to come and sit. Bit of a fly magnet, but apart from that, I love the colour. Not many cars look good in yellow. I'm a little bit biased. I think this one looks fantastic. The interior. Keep fit windows. Wooden steering wheel, free dial dash. A couple of other dials for the important one, oil pressure. Some Cobra recliner seats, which are super comfy. And yes, that is a working start-stop button. Well, that's my two cars. Hope you've enjoyed looking around. Thank you for watching. See, I told you, what was that 1275 GT Clubman like? Oh my goodness me, beautiful. Absolutely. When, it, when the video started, I kind of saw this little yellow flash in the corner of the screen and ooh, what's that? Uh, yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. I hope you've enjoyed those three. Um, uh, they all kind of had a very similar story and I just wanted to put a bit of Classic Mini on the channel because I know many of you like it. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed those. I will kind of bunch stuff together around themes and I've got a few other themes planned. I'm still working my way through all of your videos, by the way. So if you haven't had a download notification or an email from me, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just taking a long time. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Pet for plenty more content to come. But I'll see you on the next film. You make sure that you stay at home and... Look after yourself and do all the things you're meant to be doing. Follow all the government advice, whatever country you live in and wherever you live. But I hope you're okay. And I'll see you on the next film, guys. Stay safe.